Okay, I want to move on and talk to Asher about North Carolina groups that are really stepping up to help uh, the folks, the refugees in Ukraine. That's right, Mark. And you wouldn't necessarily know it listening to some of our politicians and pundits, but one of the real remarkable and I think maybe unexpected things about this uh, Russian invasion of Ukraine has been the unifying effect that it's had on Americans. According to recent polling, three out of four Americans believe the Russian invasion was unjustified. 68 percent, including 66 percent of Republicans, blame Vladimir Putin for the conflict. Even former President Trump is now calling it a crime against humanity. And in North Carolina and around the country, we've seen this outpouring of support from spontaneous gatherings to uh, street demonstrations to the ubiquitous blue and yellow flags and stand with Ukraine hashtags in your Twitter feed. That's also been true of charitable organizations here in North Carolina. We've got groups like Samaritan's Purse out of Boone, which has a mobile field hospital uh, in Poland. Uh, Feed the Hunger, a Burlington-based nonprofit, has been raising money to feed children to space by the conflict. Uh, The Ukrainian communities in Charlotte and elsewhere are raising money. And so if you're watching these heart-wrenching images and wondering what you can do, there are a lot of good causes right here we can give to. One final caveat this week, the Secretary of State, uh, Elaine Marshall, circulated a press release saying, uh, we appreciate your generosity, but just be, be smart about how you're giving. There are a lot of scam artists out there. So if you go to websites like Charity Navigator, some of the other sites out there before you give, just make sure that money's actually going to children and families in need and not to some scam artist.